G'day guys, my name's Bruce Garrod and I'm the owner of Gingerbeard Media. Today we're mixing it up and talking about media news. Instagram's move into video. Jeff, this this doesn't feel right. It's it's not quite right, mate. Roll the titles. That's better. So let's start with some basics. Back in 2012, Facebook purchased Instagram, and this is what's behind the changes we're starting to see today. In September 2015, we started to see Instagram sponsored posts. Brands were paying for exposure. Now, skip forward in time, and Instagram reported that in the last six months, the time spent by its users watching videos has increased by more than 40%. Instagram also reported that their user base is growing currently at 400 million people and expected to grow by around 15% this year and by 2017 have nearly 52% of Americans on its network, it's big business. Recently, these changes, which you may have noticed, have included allowing users, brands and companies to sponsor posts, meaning that users are seeing targeted advertising on Instagram. So tie this into Facebook's ad revenue strategy and what this leads to is the next step which Instagram announced earlier this week. Longer Instagram sponsored videos. That's right, in a gradual rollout we'll be able to post up videos of up to 60 seconds in length and that's a lot longer than the original 15 seconds that we've all been used to. So what does this mean for businesses, their brand and Instagram users? Well, obviously we're going to start to see longer videos and we suspect that you're going to see more ads appearing in your feed. After all, this is a free platform with 400 million users and it needs to make money for Facebook. Instagram's revenue totaled 9.5% of Facebook's total revenue last year and studies report that this will expand to 14% worldwide next year. So does this mean longer videos are better? Well, not exactly. Firstly, Instagram is really only a mobile app. It means that brands will need to work harder to keep people interested in, in their videos. They could just be scrolled past. Secondly, the change really allows big brands to move their TV ads, which are typically 30 seconds, onto Instagram, and that saves them time and money. However, I think that we're not going to see this happen over a long period of time, really because Instagram has its own unique style. So just like brands have adapted to Instagram styled sponsored pictures, they will do with video. This allows Instagram or Facebook to compete directly with Google's YouTube pre-roll advertising. Okay, okay. So what does this all mean for us as small business owners? Well, firstly, you can get your content, that's your advertising, out onto Instagram in more ways than one, pictures and video. Second, the content can be longer than before, but you've got to make sure it's engaging. It's just so easy to scroll past your advert, but the biggest change will be content. Content that couldn't be squeezed into 15 seconds can be squeezed into a minute. Just think about testimonials for your business. They can easily be pushed into a minute's worth of content. Thirdly, based on Facebook, we'd also predict that Instagram's new favoriting algorithm that's coming out soon will mean that videos will, in the long run, get preference over photos. But those are just our initial thoughts and we'd love to hear yours, so don't be afraid to put them in the comments section below. I've been Bruce Garrett, reporting for Gingerbeard Media, and as ever, if you'd like to talk about video and the way that it could help your business, please feel free to get in contact. Gingerbeard News reporting on more than just a beard.